Okay, here is page three of the mock exam. So first we're going to graph sine and then we're going to graph cosine. Okay, uh, just to remember, when you graph sine, think of the unit circle. Okay, sine is the y coordinate of the unit circle. Okay, we're going to start here. This is zero degrees. And then we're going to go slowly around the circle till we get 90 degrees. Okay, and then we're going to continue around the circle until we get to 180 degrees. Um, I'm going to write that up here because we're kind of crowded. Okay, and then we continue around the circle until we get to 306, or, uh, 270 degrees until we finally get back to 0 degrees, and 0 degrees can also be called 360 degrees. Now what we're going to do is we're going to track the value of sine or the y-coordinate as we go around in the circle. So when we're at zero degrees, what is the y-coordinate? It's zero, right? So the sine of zero degrees is equal to zero. By the way, the sine of 360 degrees is, all, is also zero. Then we're going to go around to 90 degrees. What is the sine of 90 degrees? Well, the y-coordinate at 90 degrees happens to be one. So the sine of 90 degrees is equal to one. Then we're going to come around here to 180 degrees. What is the sine of 180 degrees? Well, the y-coordinate here is zero again. So the sine of, and this is not a good place, I'm going to write it down here. The sine of 180 degrees is also zero, just like it was the sine of zero degrees. Then I'm going to go down to 270, and the sine of 270 degrees happens to be negative one. Okay? So now I'm going to graph sine. Okay, so at zero degrees, sine is zero. By the way, I'm going to label this point one and this negative one. You're going to see why in a second. At 90 degrees, sine is one. At 180 degrees, sine is zero again. At 270 degrees, sine is negative one. At 360 degrees, sine is again zero. Okay. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to trace a sine wave through these points. And just, you know, just, you just basically have to draw a curve through these points. Okay. And now you just make it repeat over and over again. So I just continue the same pattern over and over again. Okay, so that is sine. Okay, sine, when you start at zero, initially goes up. Okay, now we're going to graph so cosine. Uh, we're going to do the same thing. We're going to draw a unit circle, and we are going to start at zero degrees, and then we're going to go to 90 degrees, and then we're going to go to 180 degrees. Oops, don't make that same mistake again. And then we're going to go to 270 degrees, and then we're going to go back to zero, except now we're going to call it 360 degrees, okay? So what, now cosine is the x-coordinate, not the y-coordinate, right? So what is the x-coordinate at this point? It's one, right? So the cosine of zero degrees is one. What about here? What is the, the, the x-coordinate of this point? It's equal to zero. What about here? What's the cosine of 180 degrees? The cosine of 180 degrees is negative 1. And what about here? What is the cosine of 270 degrees? The, the x-coordinate here is 0 again, just like it was a cosine of 90 degrees. Last of all, the cosine of 360 degrees is equal to the cosine of 0 degrees, which is 1, because the x-coordinate is 1. All right, now let's graph it. So at 0 degrees, cosine is 1. So I'm going to mark here that it's 1. This is negative 1. The cosine at 90 degrees is 0. The cosine at 180 degrees is negative 1. The cosine at 270 degrees is 0. And the cosine at 360 degrees is 1. Now I'm going to draw the sine curve through it, or the cosine curve through it. So you can see that the cosine curve looks a lot like the sine curve, but the difference is the cosine curve starts at 1, and then it goes down. Okay. So that is page three.